success, which Newcastle have definitely found away from home this season. Lee Clark started the proceedings at Upton Park, David Kelly turned it inside, and Peacock was there to force the ball home. Or was he? No one's trying to take the goal away from the captain, but our camera behind the net suggests it came off the defender. Perhaps David Kelly might even claim it instead. It wasn't all one-way traffic, though. Charlton put Pavel Cernicek under pressure, and he responded well. Newcastle looked a lot sharper yesterday. Paul Bracewell's quick free kick is taken on by John Beresford. Brace has moved out wide on the left, and his cross is knocked behind by Peacock at the near post. There was no denying the skipper United's second goal. Charlton old boy Robert Lee gets in the cross, and Peacock volleys on the turn. A great strike that looks even better from this angle. Lee does well, and the keeper's stranded by Peacock's finish. Lee Clark, who had a hand in all United's goals, was named man of the match. He leads the celebrations with the captain. Charlton played their way back into the game after the break. A neat header from Carl Lieburn set up Gary Nelson, and Pav didn't stand a chance. But Newcastle sealed the points with their third of the afternoon. Great work down the right again by Clark, and Steve Howey, the Northeast Young Player of the Month, headed in his first goal of the season. What a way to celebrate the award. Who cares if the rain was lashing down? United were now 3-1 in front. The Londoners almost took Route 1 to upset the party atmosphere. Nelson goes for goal, but Cernicek gets down well to his left. If anyone deserved a hat-trick yesterday, it was Gavin Peacock. He almost got it when the ball reached him on the far post, but Bob Boulder made the save. So Newcastle's seventh away win of the season was...